it expands from within and gradually complicates itself, expanding outwards like a bud blossoming, like a seed turning into a plant. The world is an artifact. That it is put together by a celestial architect, carpenter and artist who therefore knows how it was done. Unfortunately, this particular image or myth became too much for Western man because it was oppressive. <laughs> to feel that you are known through and through and watched all the time by an infinitely just judge so that you always feel you're never really by yourself. And so instead, we got another myth, the myth of the purely mechanical universe. This was invented at the end of the 18th century, became increasingly fashionable throughout the course of the 19th century and well into the 20th century, so that it is today's common sense. Very few people today really believe in God in the old sense, they say they do but they really hope there is a God. They don't really have faith in God. They, 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 they fervently wish that there was one and feel that they ought to believe that there is. But the idea of the universe being ruled by that marvelous old gentleman is no longer plausible. It isn't that anybody has disproved it, but it just somehow doesn't go with the vast infinitude of galaxies and the immense light year distances so instead, it has become fashionable, and it is nothing more than a fashion, to believe that the universe is dumb, stupid, that intelligence, values, love, and fine feelings reside only within the bag of the human epidermis, and that outside that, the thing is simply a kind of a chaotic, stupid interaction of blind forces. Courtesy of Dr. Freud, for example, uh, biological life is based on something called libido, which was a very, very loaded word. Nice brown trail. Blind, ruthless, uncomprehending lust. That's the foundation of the human unconscious. And similarly to thinkers like of the 19th century, like Ernst Hegel, even Darwin, T.H. Uh, Huxley, and so on, there was this notion that at the root of being is an energy. And this energy is blind. This energy is just energy. And it's utterly and totally stupid. And our intelligence is an unfortunate accident by some weird freak of evolution we came to be these feeling and rational beings more or less rational and this is a ghastly mistake because here we are in a universe that has nothing in common with us doesn't share our feelings has no real interest in us we're just a sort of cosmic fluke and therefore the only hope for mankind is to beat this irrational universe into submission and conquer it, master. Now all this is perfectly idiotic.